Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can set up your VPN on your Mac device. This is a very simple, and I know I'm on Windows, but it's literally the same thing. All you need to do is click the link in the description down below so that you can grab a discount no matter which VPN you go for. I'll talk about these VPNs in just a little bit, but once you grabbed yourself a subscription, and again, take advantage of the discount if you can, uh, you can go ahead and download the VPN after that. Use your credentials after downloading and installing your VPN. Use your credentials to log into the application and you should be good to go from there. And that's basically it. Once you're in the VPN, you can go ahead and connect to a server uh, of your choice. Depending on your server, you can go to any IP address finder and refresh. And this is how you can make sure that you're connected to the right location. And that is basically it. Now, as far as which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you, let's talk a little bit about that to help you make a more informed decision. And so I've been regularly testing the best and most popular VPNs, and I've narrowed it down to Express, Nord, and Surfshark as the best three VPNs overall. Of course, they all vary in budgets and features, yet they all have a kill switch, they're excellent for torrenting, and they all consistently work with streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video. And that's why these are my favorite three. But depending on your situation and preferences, one of them may be a better choice for you, and I'll explain why. Starting with ExpressVPN. And this is going to be the best one if you're looking for the best overall, fastest, and easiest to use VPN. And it has the most verified no locks policy, which was demonstrated through a real life stress test proving that they don't collect or track any user data. It has over 3,000 servers in 105 countries, which is a big number of countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the globe. Plus, you can secure up to eight simultaneous connections per account, and it's compatible with most devices. And so ultimately, whenever people ask us what the best, most reliable VPN is and don't mind spending a few extra dollars to ensure the highest levels of reliability, ExpressVPN is my go-to choice for those looking for a premium VPN. Next up is NordVPN, and NordVPN is what I consider the best value VPN. It has over 5,800 servers in 60 countries, and while more servers does not necessarily mean better service, this can help with speed and latency especially if you use a VPN for gaming. Or if you want extra features such as threat protection, which blocks ads, malware-ridden websites, as well as protect your device from harmful files, which is a neat little feature. And so Nord kind of gives you more options to fiddle with, and that's where the value for the money comes from, especially that it's about as fast as ExpressVPN in terms of performance and will let you secure up to six devices per subscription. So all in all, if you're someone looking to have a few more options in your VPN, then NordVPN would be the one to get. And then finally, Surfshark is my best pick for the best budget VPN. And while it has all the essentials like Express and Nord, it's not quite as fast as those two. Although with Surfshark, you're allowed to virtually secure an unlimited number of devices with just one account. So it's a great option if you don't want any simultaneous connection limits. You also get over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, which is a lot. Also, you still get bonus features such as an ad blocker for or blocking pop-ups, two types of specialty servers, as well as no borders mode and rotating IP, which can be very useful if you're trying to use your VPN in a restrictive country. So ultimately, if you're looking to spend the least amount of money, but still have all the core features of a premium VPN, or if you need a VPN that allows you to secure all of your devices, or if you have a larger family, then Surfshark is the ideal choice. And to help you figure out which plan you should go for, generally, you want to go for the long-term plans with VPNs. And I'll explain explain why. So for example, ExpressVPN gives you three plans to choose from. There's a month at a time plan for $12.95 per month, a six month plan for $10 per month, or a 12 month plan for $8.32 per month. However, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get three months free. And so the 12 month plan drops down to $6.67 per month. Now, out of curiosity, I spoke with Express. And they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more on monthly renewals than they would have with the yearly plan because the typical pattern is that people renew monthly thinking they may not really need this long term so unfortunately they end up spending more money than they would have if they had gone with the year plan especially with the discount code i linked below so ultimately if you know you're not going to need express for longer than a month definitely get the month plan 
but if there's a chance you might end up using it longer than a month, you may want to go with the year plan. And then if you change your mind or realize you won't need it that long, you have 30 days to get a refund and go back to just a month at a time. And so to sum it up, these VPNs are definitely the best in the business. ExpressVPN is a premium VPN with a strong emphasis on security and utmost anonymity. And it's perfect for those that are privacy conscious and are looking for the best VPN overall. Now, NordVPN is a well-rounded high performance VPN that offers a lot of value for the money and is ideal for those looking for bonus features that can be useful in a variety of ways besides base VPN functions such as strong encryption, secure torrenting, and working with streaming services. And Surfshark is truly the best budget VPN that gets the job done without sacrificing any of the necessary security features that you usually get with more expensive VPNs. And as an added bonus, you get to share it around with as many of your friends and family as you would like, which is a great plus. So that's basically it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, again, you'll find links to pricing and discounts as well as full reviews in the description down below. And besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.